So in this lesson, we are talking about running our containers, right? So let's get started with it. So it's an handful class, and I will be showing you how to run your containers, right? As well as various other flags which you can use with your Docker run command. Now, if you guys remember that in our last video or our last lecture or our last lesson, we created an Docker image known as Flask application, or you can call it as Web1. I'm using the word web one of my as my image name so that I can easily type it whenever I want to run it. Right. So if I want to run this image, right, I can use Docker run command. Right. I'll say that I want to run it in interactive mode. Right. So as soon as I run this command, I would be thrown inside the uh, application console. Right. And if I exit the console, the application would get stopped. Then I can define on what port number this application would run. So for me, it's port 5000, container port as well as the host port, followed by an environment flag. We need to tell that which application file needs to be executed whenever I run this container. So that is passed through the container via an environment variable. Then I can put the container name by hyphen name flag. So let's say my container name is class cap. And finally, the image name. And I can execute this. And here we are. So, uh, Flask application is running, and I am thrown inside the console of this application. So, I can access this application via the EC2 public IP address. So, I will open a web browser and I'll put the public IP address followed by the port number, which is 5000. And this shows me the output that zero visitor on this page. Uh, this is something which we have hard coded inside the application, right? So it is not a dynamic application, it's a simple static application which shows me in static response over here. And I can also see the logs inside the application console. But if I stop it, then the application gets interrupted. If I try to exit the container, right? The container exits. If I do Docker PS, I won't find any running containers. If I do Docker PS iPhone A, there it is. Now how do I make sure that this container keeps on running in background? So the command remains the same. I'll say docker run hyphen it. I'll say d. d means detached. So I don't want to be thrown inside the application console. I want to run it in detached mode. Port number. So the container port followed by the host port followed by the environment variable, which is flask underscore app equal to app executable followed by the name flag class cap followed by the image name which is Now here things will fail the reason is it says that there is already a container not in running state but in exited state with the same name how to make sure that the container automatically gets removed from the exited state here now right now I want I need to do is I need to manually remove it by running a docker rm and again the followed by the uh, container name and then this container would be removed. So now if I run it Docker PS A, I won't find any running time. But in development, I cannot do it again and again. In production, I might need to keep it in the exited state so that I can see if any container has exited and I can restart them. But in development, I would like to as soon as I stop a container, it should be removed automatically. What we can do is we can introduce an additional flag which is hyphen hyphen rm flag. And what does this hyphen hyphen rm flag does? As soon as you stop a container, all right, the container gets removed automatically. You run it now. So I'm not thrown inside the application console, but if I do Docker PS, I will find a running container over here. And if I refresh this page, I will get an output also. Now let me show you a command which can be useful when you want to see the logs of your application. So you can use Docker logs command followed by the container name or container ID and this will show you the logs. You can also see the logs in running mode by putting an hyphen F flag followed by the container name. So this command helped me to basically get the live logs. So if I refresh this page, the logs will get generated or logs will be displayed automatically over here. I don't need to again and again run this command. So there is an hyphen F flag which can be used. All right, let me show you one more scenario. If I for, for any chance, if my contain, if my Docker host stops, so let's say 
service was interrupted due to some reason i'm doing it manually but in a production scenario so it often service stop due to any reason what happens to my running containers well in that scenario all your running container will get exited so we'll see it happening let's start it and if i show you docker ps you won't find any running container and if i do docker ps hyphen a you won't find any container here as well why because we used rm flag which removed the container as soon as it was stopped so no containers next is if i want to make sure that uh, even if something interrupts the docker service and if there was running containers those containers should be started automatically okay and what i can do in that scenario in that scenario i can define the restart policy so there can be different restart policy if you can simply search docker restart policy you'll find a document around it Okay, so there can be following restart policy. By default, there is no restart policy, but you can use on failure restart policy, always restart policy, and unless stop restart policy. On failure restart policy, if there is a host failure, container gets restarted automatically. Always means as soon as you stop the container, it will restart automatically. Unless stop means if you have manually stop it, it won't restart. But if it was stopped due to any error, then it would be restarted. So you can use various types of restart policy. I'll use this one on failure start restart policy. I can use a new flag over here. I have to remove the RM flag. That container should know what needs to be restarted, followed by the policy name. Policy name is on failure. I can say on failure over here, and I can run this. So I'll see a container running over here. Let's. stop the docker service again intentionally i'll say docker service docker stop and i'll say docker sorry so it is service Docker start. If I do Docker PS, here it is, and it is running from last two seconds. And so as soon as your uh, Docker service was started, this container was recreated or restarted. So this is what restart policy means. So we talked about few flags. So we talked about the hyphen D flag to run the container in detached mode. We talked about hyphen P flag to Uh, define the port number on which the container and on the on which port number the host will listen. Then we talked about hyphen E flag for pushing any environment variables. We talked about hyphen hyphen RM flag to automatically remove any containers which is in stop state. Then we talked about name flag hyphen hyphen name flag to give name to your container. And we also talked about hyphen hyphen restart flag. And we can define various restart policies. Okay, we didn't went into deep of the restart policy. But the idea is, if the container has stopped due to any X Y Z reason, you want to restart that container automatically. In that scenario, you can use hyphen hyphen restart policy, and it could be an on failure restart policy. So as soon as there is a failure, and there was a recovery from that failure, the containers would be restarted. All right. So these were some basic commands which you can use whenever you are running your containers. And this was it for this lesson. Thank you.